can minister a different job so far. Do you know? Politics on the timetable at Altrincham Grammar School for Boys this morning, as the government announced £50 million to pay for more places at schools like this, which select pupils on academic ability. The head teacher already has his plans for expansion. I'm pleased that the announcement's come through. We've been waiting for this, uh, th this money to come through, I think, really since the um, general election, or indeed, indeed before the general election. Almost 200 miles away at Cressex Community School, a state secondary in Buckinghamshire, the head teacher says in real terms his funding has been going down. Last year he wrote to the Chancellor saying in his county alone an extra £140 million was needed. What would you say to the Education Secretary if he was sat here right now? I would simply ask him uh, why he was funneling money into a particular sector of the education system and, and ask him to, to look at the great work that we do and, and other schools do and say, isn't it worth funding every child? At a nearby primary school where parents will soon decide if their children will go to Cressex or apply for the grammar, views were mixed. Personally, I'm not sure my children are likely to go to grammar schools or faith schools, so for me that doesn't work. Uh, I'd need that funding in all sectors of schools. Grammar schools and secondary schools, um, having that gap sometimes is not beneficial for society. But grammar schools are being told they'll only get the funding if they can prove to ministers they've taken steps to provide places to children from poorer backgrounds. It's the heart of the, the part on selective schools that, that actually they must have to reach out further uh, to make sure that more children from disadvantaged backgrounds are able to are able to, to access that, that education. Well, I think the government's proposals today tells you everything you need to know about the Conservatives' priorities. That's about selection. It's about giving um, a small amount of cash to privileged few, while the rest of the schools have faced real-term cuts. We're going to start at four. £50 million announced today is just a fraction of the overall state education budget and will only create a relatively small number of extra places in England's grammar schools. Today's announcement was essentially the remnants of Theresa May's general election promise to build brand new grammar schools. It was highly unlikely she'd get that through the Commons without a decent majority. Grammar schools have always been controversial. They remain controversial. And privately, in the Department for Education, advisers will admit that the job today was to announce as little as possible to avoid too much of a political row.